So this is the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 Pro and this is actually an upgrade from the Lawnmower 4.0 which we've been using for the last two years or so. Now first off one of the biggest upgrades on the 4.0 Pro is that this razor now comes included with a hard shell carrying case which obviously is going to be great for traveling. However the thing that I like about this carrying case is that it actually secures your razor very well. Isn't your razor isn't going to be just uh, jumping around in your case when you're traveling with it. Now another upgrade that's found on the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro is how you charge it. With the 4.0 Pro you can now charge it via a USB-C port so you can just plug in a USB C cable and charge it up and it also has a wireless charging so personally I think that it's very nice that you can choose how you want to charge this razor either you can use it wirelessly or you can plug in a cable like you can with the 5.0 Ultra however when it comes to battery life the 4.0 Pro now has a battery life of 60 minutes now a battery life of 60 minutes is good but technically it is a downgrade from the 4.0 which has a 90 minute battery life but the 60 minute battery life on the 4.0 Pro is the same as the battery life on the 5.0 Ultra. But also another very important detail about the 4.0 Pro is that the 4.0 Pro comes included with both a braided USB-C to USB-A charging cable and it also comes included with a wall charging adapter and this is actually a very big deal because a lot of other razors out there they come included with a USB-A to USB-C charging cable but they don't come included with the wall adapter and personally I do feel that this is an issue because most phones these days are now coming with USB-C to USB-C charging cables and they come included with a USB-C charging wall adapters so for me personally it is starting to get a little difficult to find these USB-A charging uh, wall adapters so personally I do feel that it's very nice that Manscaped actually includes the wall charging adapter with the 4.0 Pro. Now from an ergonomic standpoint the 4.0 Pro is very similar to the original 4.0 However, this razor is a little smaller than the 4.0 and it's also a little thinner here at the top. But just like before, we do have a mostly silicone body down here. So it is easy for you to get a grip and up here we do have all of this glossy plastic. Now, another change that you'll see on the 4.0 Pro are the buttons. Now, the power button and the light button are now two separate buttons and also the light button works as your lock. However, one of the things that I like about this new power button is that first off this power button is smaller but also this power button now requires more pressure for it in order to activate. So I like that because then that way when you're shaving in the shower, uh, you're not going to accidentally turn off your razor like uh, was very common for me with the 4.0 because with this razor, first off, this button is a lot larger, but also this button requires less pressure to activate. So it's easier to accidentally power on or off this razor whereas with the new upgraded 4.0 Pro this button is smaller and it requires more pressure. Now another change that you'll see on the 4.0 Pro is actually the light. The light here we do have a dedicated button to turn it on and off and this light here is very similar to the light that you'll see on the 5.0 Ultra. However this light only has a one temperature Whereas with the 5.0 Ultra, that light has two different temperatures. Now, in order to actually go ahead and lock this razor for traveling, all you got to do is press and hold on the lock button. And this is your animation that tells you that this razor has been locked. And in order to unlock it, you press and hold. This tells us that the razor has been unlocked. And now it goes ahead and powers on. So with power charging and ergonomics out of the way, now we can actually talk about cutting hair with these two razors. Now another upgrade that's found on the 4.0 Pro is actually the motor inside because the motor on the 4.0 Pro, it actually has a higher RPM to it. But more importantly, this motor stays a lot more consistent through the battery life band of this razor. Whereas with the 4.0, this motor 
is noticeably slower than the motor found in V4.0 Pro. But also, this motor does um, slow down if the battery in V4.0 is starting to run out. Whereas with V4.0 Pro, this Razer has a lot higher RPMs and it tries to stay consistent for a lot longer than V4.0. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light just so that you can see that. And turn off this one. This here is V4.0 Pro. And when it comes to the actual cutting surface area on these two razors, even though the 4.0 Pro is a little smaller than the outgoing 4.0, the cutting surface area on these two razors is basically identical to one another, even though the razor on the 4.0 Pro has been updated to be more rounded, so it's safer to use on your sensitive areas than with the 4.0. Now, when it comes to actually cutting hair with the 4.0 Pro, you can use it without a comb, and if you use it without a comb, you are going to get a very close cut, but it's not going to be skin tight. For that, you are going to need a foil, or you're going to actually need a razor. Now, the 4.0 Pro also comes included with two adjustable combs. You've got an adjustable comb here that's going to be good for your 2, 4, and 6 millimeters. And you have a secondary adjustable comb here that's going to be good for your 8, 10, and 12 millimeter lengths. And it's actually pretty easy to install. You just put it right on top. And this here is your 2, 4, and 6. So right now it's set to 2. We can move it up, set to 4, move it up one more, set to 6. So that is the adjustable comb that comes included with the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro, very similar to the 4.0. So that was a look at the, the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro. Now the, the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro is an upgrade over the Lawnmower 4.0. Now specifically the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro, you can now charge it using a USB-C charger, or you can also charge it wirelessly like you can before. But when it comes to battery life, the battery life has been decreased to 60 minutes versus 90 minutes. However, when it comes to overall performance, the motor in the 4.0 Pro is a lot more potent than the motor found in the 4.0. The motor in the 4.0 Pro spins faster and it also stays consistent for longer depending on the battery life of this Razer.